Hello there and welcome. My name is Janet and I am thrilled to have you here today. Whether you are joining us in person or tuning in remotely, I am excited to share this video with you. As you know, focus, uh, I focus on English and in today's video, uh, it is not a, an exception and I can't wait to share it with you as we handle um, writing an autobiography. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. We first define an autobiography. An autobiography is a written account of a person's life, typically written by the individuals themselves. It's a self-reflective narrative that chronicles the experience, events, and significant moments in the author's life. Autobiographies provide insight into the author's personal history, emotions, thoughts, and perspectives, offering a reader and clips into their unique life journey. They can cover various aspects, including early life, education, career relationships, achievement, challenges, and personal growth. Autobiographies can serve as a means of self-expression, preserving one's life uh, story, and often carrying themes of resilience, self-discovery, and personal transformation. We are going to put down a sample autobiography. Uh, then remember also to give it a title. Uh, I'm going to give mine a journey through words and love. I was born in the bustling city of Nairobi. Of Nairobi, that five years ago, a place that would forever hold a special place in my heart. Growing up, I was surrounded by the vibrant culture and diverse experiences that this city had to offer. My parents both educators instilled in me a deep love for learning and the written word from a young age. That was my early years. Let us now look at our school days at Nairobi Girls, my educational journey. Led me to the prestigious Nairobi Girls School. Those years were marked by academic challenges. They were also marked by lasting friendships. And the discovery 
my passion for English literature. English literature classes were a revelation were a revelation and you say the words of Shakespeare Austin and Dickens became my constant companions. Going now to university days upon graduating, from high school, I impact on a new adventure at Kenya University. There I pursued my dream of becoming an educator specializing in English literature. The university was a place of intellectual growth where I honored my analytical skills and depend my love for written word. Now go to love and family during my university years I met the love of my life our love story blossomed a chemist the backdrop of books and lectures we tied the knot and together we impact on the beautiful journey of marriage. Our union has blessed us with three incredible children who feel our love, our lives with laughter and love. When I talk about career and motherhood, balancing a career in education 
with the choice of motherhood has been a rewarding yet challenging experience as as an English teacher I have had the privilege of sharing my passion for English and literature with the next generation. Each day in the classroom is an opportunity to inspire young minds and instill in them the love <coughs> from storytelling writing learning and much more Throughout my 35 years, I have learned that life is a tapestry of experiences. Each thread contributing to the larger narrative. It's about embracing the highs and navigating the laws. It's about uh, cherishing family and the bonds of love that hold us together. It's about the power to transform <coughs> and inspire. That was the life lessons and now I go to the journey ahead as I reflect on my life's journey. I look forward to the chapters yet to be written. The adventures 
of parenthood. The choice of teaching and the endless exploration of literature continue to shape my path each day is an opportunity to learn, <coughs> grow, and create lasting memories with the ones I hold dear. And so, my autobiography continues a tale of love, planning, and the beauty of a life well lived and a life to be lived. So that's uh, a sample, an autobiography. Uh, some of the contents may not be true to, to me as a person writing it. I was just giving a sample autobiography and so that wraps up today's uh, video just to summarize we've covered a few hints on how to write a good autobiography if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be uh, notified when i post new content I want to take a moment to thank you for watching and for your support. It means a lot to me and I appreciate the time you took to watch this video. Be sure uh, to tune in next week for an upcoming content teaser. And until then, remember, knowledge is power but only if you use it. So go out there, take action and make a difference in the world. See you in the next one.